Hi everybody, uh, beautiful Tuesday morning, the 15th of August. It's a special day. It's the Feast of Our Blessed Lady, the Assumption, which Mary, Mary was assumed into the body and soul into heaven. Uh, also a special day, if you don't mind. Uh, this would have been my mom's 92nd birthday today. So today was her birthday. Anyway, read the Gospel from Luke chapter 11. While Jesus was speaking, women from the crowd called out and said to him, Blessed is the womb that carried you, the breasts which you nursed. He replied, Rather, blessed are those who hear the word of God and observe it. And so, as I said, it's the Feast of the Assumption. Now, it's curious. I, I guess from my school days as a child, I always, under the impression, the thought that the Assumption declared that Mary's assumed into heaven body and soul and that she didn't die. That somehow she was brought up like Elijah or something, brought up to heaven. But as, as I f f f further reading says, the manner in which Mary's earthly life ended has not been infallibly defined by any pope. So that they never declare that clearly. Many Catholics believe that she did not die, and I was one of them at all, but it was, but it was assumed directly into heaven. The dogmatic definition of the apostolic constitution, mun fincentissimus deus, was infallibly proclaimed the doctrine of assumption, leaves open the question of whether, in connection with the ending of earthly life, Mary underwent bodily death. The doctrine does not attempt to answer or define this question, as indicated by the words, having completed the course of her earthly life. So, I hear my man all these years, finally given this interpretation that she may, may or may not have died. But we do believe that she was taken and being free from sin by God's favor, by his death on the cross, they died for it, that she was in Jesus with heaven. And so we have an ally in heaven. As you say, we, like, you know, we Catholics believe in the communi communion of saints, the one big family, family here on earth, those living, but those who have gone before us, they're still part of our family. And I believe they cheer us on, they pray for us, and to see on behalf. And what greater person is the Blessed Mother. May you turn to Mary today and celebrate some way today. Treat yourself to something nice. Maybe get an ice cream. I don't know how well you want to celebrate. But make this day a special day, the Feast of Our Mother. God bless you.